25, holiness, a glorious topic. Hebrews 12, 14 says, strive for peace with everyone and for holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Now, I know we understand righteousness and God is so good and we can't ever be perfect. Uh, we might as well just go ahead and sin, right? No, we shouldn't. When we talk about holiness, it's not the ability to sin. It is the ability to be like God, be holy, be sinless. And you're never going to reach perfection. You're never going to be absolutely perfect. But in our hearts, we strive for perfection. Holiness is basically hearing and obeying. When God says it, you do it. I do it. We obey God Almighty. We don't do anything out of uh, a selfish heart or outside of the laws of love. We absolutely do things with the fear of God, the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is not an evil thing. Oh, we're, we're, we're not given a spirit of fear. Uh, <laughs> The Bible says the Spirit of God is the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. And we have these things in us by the Spirit of God. The respect, the awe, the wholesome honor for the Almighty God. That is the fear of the Lord. That is what fills your heart. But the action that the fear of God takes is separating yourself from sin. Separating yourself from anything you know that is not right in the eyes of God. If God said, don't do it, then you run from it. And I'm not talking about people, but I'm talking about sin and its advances into your life. Because sin, it waits, it crouches, it's always around, it's always available to us, and we need to run from sin, flee youthful lusts, do not engage in sin, do not enjoy the lusts and the pleasures of sin. It only lasts for a season, and I'm telling you, this life is short, and you absolutely want to be on the right side of Almighty God when this life ends for you, and it ends much sooner than any of us think. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1, Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of the body and of the Spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God, that wholesome awesome respect for God. Tell you what, you're precious in the eyes of God, and God wants you holy so that you can experience all of His goodness, so that you can experience His power, so that you can experience all that He has planned for you. If we do not live holy lives, if we live in disobedience, if we live with our lives like the world in sin, our minds corrupted with sin and degradation, we will not live in faith. We will not please God. We will not step into the areas that God wants us to step into. The, the people are going to look at us and the world is going to look at us and say they're hypocrites. Look at them. They're just, and you know, and I heard one preacher say, well, guess what? We are all hypocrites. We can't actually do everything we preach. God, that's why we needed Jesus Christ. If we were perfect, we wouldn't need a Savior. But thank God we do have a Savior. Jesus has saved us. He has redeemed us. Uh, but we endeavor to live like God lives. But as he who called you is holy, so also be holy in all of your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. God said, 1 Peter 1, 15 and 16. God Almighty is a fire from the loins up and a fire from the loins down. The power of God, when you're baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire, there is holiness infused in your life. And it burns up sin. It burns out the impurities, the dross, the things that, that defile your life. God does not want your life defiled. He wants you to live holy and pure. See, there's such a bondage in this world, a bondage of mind, a bondage of body, a bondage of spirit when people are bound in sin, when they do not live holy. And you are, uh, when you're living holy, you are free. It doesn't matter what anybody accuses you of, you're free. I'm free. There is no devil in hell that can bind me. Thank God. God, can, God has broken sin over my life, and God can break sin 
off of your life and you can be free. To live life in sin is absolutely a bondage. You need to repent and get right with God because God has a power that he wants to pour through you. He wants his glory to pour through you and the sin. And I'm talking about the sins of this life and the sins of this world, the sins that just swirl around us. If you're listening to the media all day and all night, if you're listening to social media or or news media or all of these things, I'm telling you, your mind is corrupted and you cannot fulfill the call of God on your life like God wants you to. I'm telling you, repent, get holy, get right with God, become obedient to God, wash your mind in the Word of God. Let God's Spirit cleanse your life from demonic things that want to rule you and run you into the ground. God Almighty has a power and a purpose for you that you have not yet tapped into. Holiness is obeying the command to live as God lives. God Almighty is a fire, and He wants to pour that fire of God into the earth. He wants His Spirit to pour through, to flow through every believer, not just preachers, not just, oh, I heard of this one preacher one time 40 years ago that had the fire of God pouring through his life. Every believer needs to have the power of God flowing through their lives so that the fire of God is all over them, rushes through them. If your life is corrupted with sin, it is a blocked channel. It cannot facilitate the move and the power of God. The holiness of God is your purity. It is the open channel for God Almighty to pour himself through. If you're not holy, you can't be that conduit. You cannot be that channel, that river, that flow of, of God. Jesus said the Spirit of God is going to be like a fountain on the inside of every believer. If your fountain is clogged up with sin, repent. Repent. Repent and get right with God. God wants to use you in these last days. We were chosen to be holy. Holiness strengthens your mind. It gives you a freedom from the devil, a freedom from this world. God said, I, even I am he that comforts you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man that shall die and the son of man which shall be made as grass? You see, if you've got sin, you're going to be afraid of man. You're going to be fearful of what men can do. Oh, they're going to blow the whistle on me. Oh, they're going to take me to jail. Oh, they're going to do this and that. God Almighty says, who are you to make a judgment call that man is bigger than me? When you're holy before God, there's a power from God that gives you confidence and boldness in this life that no man can touch me ever. And if they, if they kill me like they killed Stephen, Man, God Almighty, Jesus standing at the right hand of God to welcome you. There's power in the kingdom of God. You don't have to be afraid of men when you have the holiness of God in your life. You don't have to fear man. You don't have to fear devils. You don't have to fear sin. You can walk into the deepest, darkest, craziest scenario and Jesus Christ will shine out through you and you lay hands on the sick and the power of God and the fire of God burns that sickness and that disease out of people's lives. The fire of God burns the sin out of people's lives, out of churches, out of societies. The power of God flows through you, flashes through you. The glory of God absolutely will destroy demonic strongholds around you, around your family, around your life, around your nation, around whatever God has called you to. Be strong, be bold, but be holy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm -hmm.